Hi everyone, my name is Karen Gurel. I'm the editorial director here at Vital Plan and general all around food uh, enthusiast and nutrition nut. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about food label claims. So these are health claims that you see on a lot of foods at the grocery store. Things like antibiotic free, hormone free, natural, organic. These claims are everywhere and they're a little overwhelming. They definitely influence the way that we shop. And the thing is, some of them are really meaningful and some of them are meaningless. So today I thought we might talk about a few of the more common label claims and which ones are worth paying attention to and which ones you can just ignore. So the first one on our list is USDA certified organic. And generally this is one that we think is really worth it. So um, organic produce is raised without any pesticides or fertilizers that have been prohibited, for instance. Organic animals are given access to the outdoors. They're never given hormones or antibiotics. And if they're given feed, that feed must be organic too and also non-GMO. So two thumbs up for USDA certified organic. Another good one is grass-fed or pasture-raised. So these are animals that have been raised eating grass instead of grain-fed. And generally, those products have higher levels of healthy omega-3 fatty acids, and those are really good fats, and also higher levels of antioxidants that have been shown to help lower levels of systemic inflammation that's linked with diseases like heart disease and cancer. So two thumbs up for those as well. Next on the list is no antibiotics. So this is kind of a tricky one. The thing is, is that you'll never find any antibiotics in your food. It's the law that if an animal is given any antibiotics, it has to be out of their system before it's processed as food. So you won't find any antibiotics in your food. But one good thing to look for is either raised without antibiotics or no antibiotics ever. And that means that the animal has never been given antibiotics. And the reason that's a good thing is that, again, it's not because it would get into your food and into your body, but because overuse of antibiotics in livestock is a major contributor to antibiotic resistant superbugs. And those superbugs can make us very sick. So generally speaking, if you can avoid antibiotics, you only use them when you need them, that's a good rule of thumb. So another one to ignore is hormone free. If you're buying eggs, cheese, any sort of dairy product, any meat product comes from an animal, animals like us naturally produce hormones, so there's going to be some natural hormones in that food. However, one good thing to look for is raised without hormones or no hormones added. So again, these animals have not been given any hormones in their life, and we're talking about things like RBGH and RBST, which are given to dairy cattle, or testosterone or estrogen, which are given to beef cattle. Those are all meant to increase food production, but those have been shown to get into our systems. It's traceable in low levels, and there are some health concerns. It's been linked with potentially tumors and developing children and pregnant women in particular might be vulnerable. So I think in this case, it's a better safe than sorry. If you see products that have no hormones added or are raised without hormones, those are good ones to buy. Okay, one more I wanna talk about is the word natural. This is a really common one, but it is meaningless. The FDA really doesn't regulate this term. It's loosely defined as being foods that are minimally processed and they don't have artificial ingredients or colors. But like I said, they don't really regulate it, so it doesn't mean much when you see it on a label. So I hope this information was helpful to you and that it'll make you feel more confident when you're grocery shopping. We certainly didn't cover all of the labels, but those are some of the more common ones. And happy grocery shopping.